How's it dudes? We're back with more Peggle 2. I just can't get enough of this game at the moment. Plus I've got so much... I've got a lot of time before I need to be anywhere. So I'm just gonna keep recording videos and they'll... Oh yeah, we got another opportunity. Um, we, we could go Robo Bjorn. But... Oh, dude. But I mean, according to our rules, next is Jeffrey in his gorgeous suit, man. And look at that chalice. Don't worry, if we get stuck on a level, we'll get through costumes more. It'll happen. And he's got... Are those cats behind him instead of goats now? And he's drinking water. Is that from a... Is that like a water tower? Oh, what's the... What's the... Oh, I just need to clear the pegs. That was not good. That's... But it's fine. Just gonna do this. I like how he covered his water tower to like avoid spilling. Now I see this one time I was sitting next to and I was like I was like flying and I'm someone I fly a lot. My dad works for Emirates, so I get and I mean my family's in Dubai while I'm here and my fiance is in America. So you now I'm someone who does travel a relative um, relatively a lot, so I'm used to flying and all the turbulence and stuff and I was like sitting next to this kid the one time who was just incredibly nervous for the flight and then she and then like I think it was I don't know man I don't remember for a girl or a boy I don't remember too much about the kid but it was like point is that the kid was just like nervous and scared and the mom was like yeah yeah I'm, yeah I can't like I can't sit here with her because of how the seats worked out and like she she couldn't sit next to her kid because she also had like a younger kid that like she had to stay with instead you know so she was like yeah could you just keep an eye on her for me because like she's gonna she's a bit nervous about everything so i'm like yeah sure no problem and like most of the time i was just minding my own business you know just like watching movies and show but there was like but on this flight specifically, we had pretty bad turbulence at the one point and... And it was like just when she got like coffee... Coffee and drinks and stuff, so she was... She had like coffee and like water and she was panic... She was panicking because her spilling... It's like the turbulence was making it spill all over the place. So I was like, ah, well... I'm used to this, so I'll like help her out. So I like took her, so I took a coffee for her just to like make sure it's like balanced, just to, like keep it balanced because I'm used to. I don't know, dude. I've I've like practiced holding a hot cup of coffee without spilling it on myself on a plane. Because that's like one of my fears, man. I'm always scared that when there's turbulence, that the plane ends up like jolting so much that the coffee just spills out over my own lap. So like I. So what I did, like, I helped to help her, because I also had a coffee, so I had my own coffee to worry about. Anyway, this we're going on to Berg. Oh, it's baby Berg! And Robo Bjorn! <laughs> no, I didn't... We didn't... No, I, no, I'm sorry. We, we have to play as baby Berg. If we're not baby Berg, then... What? What's even the point, right? So yeah, dude, I like helped out and like I took like I took like the serviettes they gave us. Oh, that's like a word we use in South Africa instead of napkins that you guys use in America. You you call them napkins, we call them serviettes. When you talk about a napkin, it makes you think of a nappy, which is like a diaper, you know. <laughs> okay, I was wondering where's our other green. Peg. That's not the bounce I wanted. That's not the bounce I wanted at all. That's pretty bad, honestly. I think we might have done bad by... Oh, what? We got more? I didn't realize we had more shots. Hey, free ball! Yeah, so I don't know, man. As someone experienced with flying, I took the... I took the serviette and like put it over her coffee for her so that it doesn't like spill. Cause she was like already spilling a bunch so I just... I don't know, I helped her out a bit. I don't know, just the image of Jeffrey in the previous game putting his hand over that... 
over his drink made me just remember that for some reason. It's really like something small like that can bring back like a really random memory that you feel for as I like lost to time, you know? Because it wasn't like a big moment or anything, but just like seeing that like picture of someone covering the cup just like brought back that memory. And that was terrible. It, we're not rest no, we're not restarting because we need to choose a new character. Berg Norman. Oh my word, it's What's the fem what's a female name version for Norman? S Gnormella? <laughs> Gnormella. That's what we'll call her. Or maybe it's still got maybe it's she maybe they I don't wanna make any assumptions. Maybe they still go by Gnorman, you know? It's cause they change the way they look doesn't mean they might want to change their name, you know? I don't know, everyone... Everyone's a little bit different, dude. Just respect each other. As long as what you're doing isn't infringing on anyone else's freedom or whatever, then go ahead, man. I'm someone... I believe you have the freedom to do whatever you want, but that freedom stops... That freedom stops at the point where your freedom is going to be impeding somebody else's freedom to do whatever they want, you know? And I feel like that's a fair compromise. But that's a rule we can all stick by. Ah! Now not everyone follows the same logic. Some people have a little bit more of a selfish viewpoint of the world and maybe they're right dude maybe maybe they are right maybe maybe this world is so hostile and everything that the best way to get through it is to be selfish but you know i choose to not believe that because if that is true then we're living in a pretty depressing world to be honest with you so i don't so i choose not to believe it oh we got some good bounces there we don't need to get score. Yeah, we just gotta clear the pegs, so we're good. Dude, Norman is a hot dog or an earthworm. What is what was going on with Normella? Oh my, did you? That's, that's so, sp I don't, I don't like it. I don't like this outfit, it's scary, man. It spooks me, it haunts me, it's, is it just like inverted colors? I don't know, but something about it is very unsettling, and I don't like it. I generally don't know what it is about it, but I don't like it. She got wings, but I do appreciate the wings on her costume. I like her in that mode. That mode, she looks really cool. When she looks like that, she looks cool. We need to... Yeah, we need to get under a certain number of points this time. Oh, I was really hoping we'd get that other green as well. But alas, it was not meant to be. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> now, don't you dare look all cute and innocent. We know, we know you're like an evil demon from beyond the grave. I don't know if she's evil. I mean, she's spawning like teddy bear imagery, so she can't be that. Maybe she's just like a child, you know? She doesn't have any malicious intent, but she's scaring people because she's just here to like sort of play around a bit. Maybe that's a better way of thinking about her character. And I'm a bit scared that we're gonna get too many points off of this last bit here. So I wanted to be careful. Okay, that's fine. Oh, oh! No. Not it. Not doing it for me. I forgot to set a timer. 
I also forgot to set a timer last episode, so I have literally no idea how long that was. Let me just set a timer quick for, I don't know, half an hour. No, that was bad timing. We got free ball. We got free ball. We're fine. Dude, that one's in a hard place to get. Oh, no, dude. Oh. Please save me. Please save me. Yeah. <laughs> We got saved. We're only getting the 50k, but that might be for the... No, I think we got sl we got too much score, I think. We literally just over. Just, just too much. <laughs> oh, that one hurts. We're back to... We're, we're Robo Bjorn now. I don't know. I was like, we got, we got Robo Bjorn, and we had Baby Burger. Just like... Brought back images of, I don't know if you guys are big fans of Bojack Horseman, I like that show a lot. But there's like a... Oh. But there's like an episode where Diane goes as like Robo Baby Bjorn or something like that and was... To be honest with you, I don't understand the reference completely, I know it was like a tennis player back in the day. like. But that's it. But I just, I just, but like I still have like a vivid, I have a very vivid remem memory of how that costume looked and everything, you know? So it just like conjures up images of that costume regardless. That might have been a bit too many points for us to feel good about though. Something like that, maybe? That seemed pretty good. Again, I'm trying to avoid the purple as much as possible. I don't think that's our shot. Maybe something like this. Okay, that's... Could have been better, could have been worse. Um, hmm, this is interesting. <laughs> Try this. Oh, the point. We got the point booster. Oh no, that was... I think we'll be fine. I think we've... I think we're gonna be completely fine. We've got seven balls. Just try not to hit... Try to hit as many purely oranges as possible. If we hit only orange, we're golden. Like, that is a great shot. It looks bad. But it's, cause like it feels like it's going against what you want from Peggle, but like it's actually great. I mean that's literally the best way we could have finished that, I think. Got like no points, but I mean that, that was the point, right? Next level! Oh ho ho ho. Or Chris, Crystal Jeff. You're a local truck dealer. <laughs> Crystal Jeff. <laughs> but he's back with his goat milk. Wait, what was the mission here? Oh, we gotta score a lot of points. Okay. So there's a bunch of purples over on the right side. Not anymore. Now the purples are all moving around. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Could have been better. Could have been way better, but... Do this. Yeah, I was just trying to hit those two, like, purple pegs that were close together. Dude, just go for the middle here. There's two purple pegs right there. Oh, I wanted to sh I, I, I meant to shoot on slightly later so I could hit that other purple peg, too. So here, I've got a plan, okay? Bear with me on this one. That was not executed to the best of my abilities. Let's put it that way. But if we do something like this, it's like that other mission where we had to get, get like all the spinning ones going, you know? Um, okay, get the bounces. No bounces, no bounces, dude, no bounces. There's a lot of purples down there. I think I want to 
get down there. Ah, oh, I wanted to get that free shot. What? Oh, dude, so close. This might be a long shot. Oh, oh, and a free ball too, dude. Oh, I missed. <laughs> It was like in a great place for me if I got it that I'd get that I'd be pretty likely to get the 100k. Oh, it's all gonna be 100k's of course because I cleared all the pegs. So yeah. I mean, Crystal Jeff did a great job. Crystal Jeff, his ability save. Do we need to score a million? No, 500,000. <laughs> For a second there, I thought we had to score a million points, not 500,000. I was like, oh, we didn't even get close. Oh no, you can see the weather picking up again. It's something very interesting in Istanbul. You know when it's going to start raining hard. It's always... When you see the wind picking up, it always brings in rain clouds. Oh, I didn't change the costume. Oh, is this... I think this was a forced character, actually, so never mind. We just gotta clear all the pegs. Boom, boom. Oh, there's nothing there. There's <laughs> nothing there. Oh, that, that one felt pretty good. Um, that was not what I wanted to do, but we got a free ball out of it. I accidentally flicked the left analog stick right before I took the shot. That's bad. Did I gotta play better? I really thought that would give us a free ball. Um, this? Got lucky, got lucky. Got saved by the free ball there. No, bounced way too far to the right, dude. Um, if we hit it like this? That was good. That was great. That was exactly what we wanted. We don't need it. Yeah, we just got to clear the orange peg so we're golden. Let's see where this goes. Let's see where this goes. My prediction is the 10k. <laughs> pretty clearly. Pretty clearly was going into the 10k from the beginning there. The dead lady. You're done. I'm sad that we can't change the, the costume as well. At least like give me a random costume, that would have been cool. Oh, this is... Nope, restart. This one... I, I see, I know what you need to do, you just gotta get it like... Just gotta get the right arc, right? That might be it, nope, too high. <laughs> But I like this. This is a cool level. That might be it. Nope. Way too low. Um, so I know I don't want to place it there. Maybe there. Nope. Too low still. Dude, the margin of error is very slim. <laughs> um, what about that? That was close. That was real close. That was a close one. We're getting there. We're getting there. That? Nope. Too high. That? No. Slightly, slightly too high. Man, it's... You, 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 I mean, you see, the margin of, for error in this one is incredibly slim. There we go, got it. Didn't even bother with the fine tuning. That one, I was just like, I felt it and I shot immediately. I took my shot. I'm not gonna miss my shot. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. It's a Hamilton reference for you uncultured or cultured swine out there. I don't know which one you are. If you don't like being called a swine, you don't have to. You don't have to accept it. Don't worry about it.
But some swines are cultured, I guess. Don't really know. Well, thanks for that. I mean, I know a little while ago in South Africa we had like <laughs> had cultures of listeria growing on our baloney, so that that's cultured swine, technically, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I was like, maybe last year, I think, that they had like a recall on all the... Well, here they call it Poloni, I don't know. I don't know why, dude. So Africans just like to put their own words on stuff to... I, I think we try to sound special or unique or whatever, but really... I don't see the point, just call it like the same as everyone else. You're just adding more confusion, doesn't need to be, be there. I mean, it's the same thing with America trying to do like... Try sticking to their guns with imperial units and all, even though they're completely stupid. I mean, dude, I mean, like, a, my friend sent me an article that was, like, say, talking about, like, the foot problem in America. And the problem was, like, with surveyors, they had a, there were literally two different feet. And the one was, like, the original imperial foot, but then, like, they realized that there was a problem with that, and in that it wasn't a perfect ratio in converting to meters you know so they so instead of just adopting meters to make their lives easier they invented a whole new foot but then instead of just getting rid of the old foot they kept the old foot anyway and they just made it so now there were two feet available and one was like the surveyor's foot and one was like the normal foot you know or called the american foot and if you don't believe me dude check it out like on the on the times it's the it's an article that you can read it for yourself if you don't believe me and the thing is like they were incredibly close to each other like there was barely any difference like i mean if you're measuring most things it's not gonna make a difference but like if you're working with like larger distances then like it actually matters you know because like it can end up being like a couple of couple of centimeters off or whatever and that doesn't sound like a big deal but I mean as a surveyor that can really throw off like everything you're doing Ooh, ooh! oh my word dude I'm getting I'm getting so scammed with the bounces these this game did you see that like how do you manage to thread the needle to that extent I'm kind of like impressed with myself, but also angry at myself at the same time. If, that, if the goal is to thread the needle, I killed it. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, that was good, that was good. That was incredible. Ah! Get that bounce, get that bounce. Not the bounce I want, restart. Did I got it? I feel like I'm just getting a little scammed with bounces in this one. Like, I managed to, like, shoot through this mess of pegs and absolutely miss everything. Like, that's... Like, again, dude, that's, like... That, that there as well, that was, like, kind of impressive. Like, it's not impressive at all, but it is, like, kind of, like, wow. I mean, it's... By, like, not impressive at all, I mean, it's actually really bad for me. That I'm getting that sort of bounces, but like it's also like, what are the odds, dude? Oh, I felt, I feel like that could have bounced either way. That definitely could have gone either way. That was just bad. I don't know what you want me to say about that one. And that one, I feel unlucky. That one, I feel like I got just unlucky. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's how I feel too, Luna. That's how I feel too. 
On the inside, my head did the same thing. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. No, dude. Okay, so we want to try and get bounces going here. Not like that. That's not bounces at all. And can, how incredible was that? Seriously, how incredible was that threading of the needle right there? Oh, dude, are they like busy doing stuff outside that's making tons of noise? Yeah, they've got the like weed eater going on. Let me just quickly close my window. Oh, ow, ow, ow. No, dude. How did this even happen? Oh, that's how. <laughs> yeah, all my cables got stuck in like a weird position on this on the microphone and it confused me. I was like, this doesn't make any sense. Oh. Oh, ah, uh, oh, nah. Oh, really? If I bounced the other way, we would have had a free ball there. Oh, so close. So close, dude. Come on. Let's just finish off the right side here, I guess. Oh, man. I tried to time that with the free ball and got a little... A little screwed. Okay, okay, okay. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. That's not what we want at all. Do this. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my. So go like this. No, that's not what we want. That was terrible. Oh, no, this is bad, dude. I messed it up. I messed this up for us, I think. Oh, I... I, f I feel a little cheated on that last shot, but, like, we shouldn't have been in that position in the first place, you know? We got unlucky on that last shot, but we did a lot of bad stuff before that last shot. That's, that's really what killed us. The last shot itself was fine. If it was like a normal shot. That's... Painful. Hey! <laughs> that should get it, right? Not the ones I expected it to get, but... I mean, I expected it to get that orange down there, but I expected it to bounce into the orange right above it, and that was terrible actually just awful okay let's see if we can get a good bounce off this orange pretty good bounce but the long shot i mean got screwed i got screwed out of that one that's it got a free ball out of that one though And another free ball out of that one. Two free balls, and actually. So, try this. That didn't go good. Didn't go bad. Free ball, that went well. Anytime you get a free ball, that's a win in my book. <laughs> I mean, you just heard what I said, right? Oh, I thought maybe we would have gotten that last orange one as well, but nah. It was not in the cards for us. Oh, dude, no, that was bad. That was real bad. I, sh I was greedy. I shouldn't have played it that way. Okay, we got a free ball. We got a free ball. We got saved. We got saved. That should hit it. Oh, 
Um, it's an oranger, more colorful than the most. Okay, so we got Berg with Frostbite. That's that's an incredibly boring costume. You know what? I'm I'm disappointed with this costume. Like, what is it? You just changed the color on him a little bit. I mean, at least like with Luna, when he changed the color, it made it look like a different character, you know? But with Berg, he's like mostly one color anyway. So changing that color did like nothing. Let's see. That was bad. That was just not good. What if we try to squeeze under there like that? That, That's what happens. You try weird shit and you get weird results that hurt you at the end, I guess. Guess you get what you deserve on that one. We got cool catches at least. Um. That was fine. That was fine. I. I mean, I think we we're gonna fail this level. That doesn't mean we're gonna give up on it. Like, it's still possible. But... I wouldn't say it's plausible. That was pretty good, though. That was a good one. That might have, like... Given us a lot of momentum that we needed to make it through this. See if we can bounce it like that. Yeah, that's actually what I wanted to do. Did I love it when like you try to when you're like, oh I have a plan, and then it actually goes to plan. And we can do this. We can actually do this one. Ah, oh, that's not exactly what I wanted, but at least it cleared the shot for that dude. No, the 10k again, man. No score, no, no score necessary, so we're good. Give me that water. So I've already mentioned it, but my body is so stiff, man. <laughs> my, my back especially, like my lats just can't really move anymore. Oh, we have Mr. Norman here now. Serg Norman, he looks like he's ready to lead an army, man. Or monopolize the market. That one too. I mean, wasn't amazing, but pretty good, right? I think here we just want to try and bounce it in there. Create chaos, see what happens. I'm mad. I'm mad that they took so long to like clear those bags away. <laughs> if it was like a little bit sooner, I would have gotten that free ball, dude. Um, I think yeah, I want to do this. I can't believe I thread the needle on that like top row of of pegs. I like. Part of my plan was that it would bounce off of that into one of these up here. I didn't really care which one specifically, either one would have been fine. No, dude! Man. Playing on the PlayStation 4 now, I'm just like, I wanna... And recording on it especially, like norm like before I was like doing my YouTube channel, I was like I'm not that excited on getting the PlayStation 5 because I'm like I'm I'm not too picky on what I game on, you know? I'm just like as long as I just have my games, I'm fine. But now that I'm recording and I'm like I actually wanna get like good recordings out there, I'm just like a bit sad that I can't Oh, uh, what's the word I'm looking at? I'm, I'm a bit sad that like I can't record in like 1080p and I can't add a webcam on. I, I want to do those things. Like I want to make my videos better, but at the moment this is like the best I can do, you know? 
funny. Like, why don't you get the PS4 Pro? Because I'm poor, dude. <laughs> I'm, I've like used all my bursary money already, basically. So I'm just here trying to survive. Oh, we don't have her new costume unlocked. So we're just going to go back to inverted colors, I guess. Like, she's got like a little bit more going on in terms of complexity and design. I... I really... I... Can, okay, so this is... This shape here. I, I, I didn't... I don't know what that's meant to be. I thought... I, I really thought that's maybe meant to be like a nose and like eyebrows, but like... It, I'm not gonna say what it looks like, but it looks like something else, man. <laughs> You really should have like added a divide like here and here just to make it not look like what it looks like. I mean if you don't realize it looks like a female reproductive organ, let's put it that way. And I mean like an anat anatomical like anatomically correct drawing of one. I just can't stop seeing it, man. I'm trying to, like, think of anything else, but, like, it, I just can't stop seeing it. That's all it is. Ah. Did you get it? Nope. <laughs> I love it when I'm like, yeah, that, yeah, I'm... Pretty confident that's gonna get it, and then the game's just like, nah, not even close, dude. What are you talking about? Like, yeah, 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 why did I think that? And I'm like, yeah, game, you're right. That was a miss. I mean, you can't argue. It's not. It's not like Pickles a game where the game can really cheat you out of it. Like, every single action you take is yours, and I mean, like, sure, you can't really control every bounce, but oh my word, dude. Eyeball just messed us up pretty badly there, but actually, I'm not sure if it did mess us up, but I think it might have also saved us. But that could work out. Yeah, that worked out really well. At first I thought I'd like messed that up, but then I was like, wait, this could work out well. <laughs> and then it worked out well. Oh, the eyeball rejected it into the 10k. And when you leave it alone on the screen, it even... <laughs> Looks like it even more, man. Like, <gasps> oh, I'm clearing for these trials much quicker than the last level. What are ghost touch tile shots? Do long shots count? I mean, maybe if you actually manage to hit them. How is that not a long shot, dude? How many am I going to get? Three? Wait. Hit 18 pegs on Nightshade Shot to get the Ghost Touch style shot. I have to hit 18 pegs. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I think I can do this still. I realize I sort of messed it up to begin with, but I think it's still possible. That wasn't a good way to do it, though. No! I'm gonna restart. <laughs> I, I, I accidentally pressed the X button too early. I was still aiming and then I like pressed X and I was like, oh no, dude. Really? Why does it always decide to clear out just as it leaves? Style shot! Oh man, we hit 17. We were one away. We were one peg away from that being a style shot. What was that? 17 again? Wait, why was that not a style shot? 
He said hit 18 pegs for a style shot. I hit 18 pegs. I don't understand. What? Oh, does it have to be 18 ghost pegs? That makes sense. But then tell me that. Like, I'm fine if that is the rule, but tell me that's the rule. You didn't tell me that's the rule. All you said is hit 18 pegs. I hit 18 pegs. Hit 17 that time. I doubt we're gonna hit 18. We hit 18, but only 17 of the blue ones, apparently. This is possible. This is possible, but unlikely. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Wasn't good enough. Wasn't good enough. We were close. We were close to it. I mean, we can definitely get it. It's just... We got, we got unlucky on basically every shot, <laughs> honestly. I mean, that's, that counts as... Oh, we have to get Ghost Touch style shots specifically, so that doesn't count. That time it cleared up perfect timing, man. Awesome. <laughs> hey, another Ghost Touch down. Is my timer going off? Yeah, my timer's going off. I don't know how long it's been going off for. I'm wearing like my noise cancelling headphones, so sometimes it goes off for like a while and I don't even hear it. Oh no, we're not gonna get this time. That sucks. It's still possible, but it's uh, looking spicy, man. Looking spicy with very few orange pigs left to try and bounce off of. That was a terrible bounce. It's just a terrible bounce. I mean, basically all my own fault. I really... No, that wasn't even close. It was sort of close, but... I thought that one was closer than it actually ended up being. Oh, this could work. This could work. Please, please. No, it just, like, missed everything there at the end. It just went in between all of the pegs. It's so annoying when it does that. <laughs> I don't know, let's try a little bit of a higher bounce. See how that works out for us. I think the higher bounce might actually be a better way to go around it, honestly. <laughs> it's just... Oh, I wish I could control when they go away. Oh, that's bad. That was the worst bounce, man. I know it's my own fault, but why? That one, that I know, and I can't blame myself too much. For hours, I meant to know it was gonna bounce into exactly the whole. Why did? No, I feel like these bounces, these bounces aren't coming out the way I expect them to at all. Uh, this is bad. This is bad, dude. That's gonna be bad. Yeah. I'm. I feel like I'm getting a little screwed with bounces. But I also accept that a lot of the blame is that that time I don't accept blame. That time I don't accept any blame for that bullshit. I'll accept blame when it is my fault, but come on man, really? That's how you're gonna do you're gonna do me dirty like that? Where's the ghost touch? There we go. That should be fine. Please. Ghost touch! Got a free ball as well. And an orange attack. If you ask me, that should count as a style shot, but I understand. It does count as a style shot, but it's not what they're looking for. It's not the one they're looking for. That's fine. This is not the droid they're looking for. Oh yes! Let's go! We did it! 
Next trial, that was easy time. And we're back with Bjorn here. Robo Bjorn had its time, we're back with casual, normal, vanilla. Bjorn, people, again, people say they don't like boring that much, but to me, I think boring can, boring has its place, man. It's not necessarily boring if you just call it vanilla instead, it's all about how you brand it, right? what they teach you in sales I wouldn't know I didn't go into sales <laughs> I don't really know what I'm talking about in most situations to be honest with you oh that was bad timing that was just bad timing it's totally my bad do we need to just clear the pegs just clear the pegs it's a very simple mission Ah, oh, I had hope that that one could have ended up with a free ball. Let's see. Nope. I, I know I can get it in there, I just gotta do it better. I mean, there. That was not too good. Oh man, the free ball is so elusive. <laughs> that's that's how you do it, man. Just I mean, is it meant to be hard to get the free balls? <laughs> certainly doesn't feel that way to me. Do you see that? How is that not a long shot? Or did they just not count style shots in this? level for some reason. I just want to make sure we have the super guide now to hopefully help us finish off here. I think that's what we want. Nope, it's not. But it's fine, dude! Okay. I think it's possible. I think it's possible. No! Not if you time it like that, my dude. <laughs> I mean, it definitely was possible, but you gotta time it a lot better than that. Oh, that was not great. We got a free ball out of it, so... Don't know what you're talking about. I feel it was pretty great, actually. Oh, no, dude. No, nah, dude. I gotta do better than that. I gotta do better than that. That's not better. That's not better. Restart. That wasn't going to be a free ball, either way. Uh, Crystal Jeff had his moment. Back on Vanilla Jeff with his milk. And Crystal Jeff also had milk, so... I don't know what that's supposed to mean specifically, but... I don't know, man. I'm just in... I just appreciate... A man enjoying his milk. Ooh. Ah, uh, we were so close to getting that one. That's all right. That's all right. Get that. Oh, get that green one. Get that green. One. Get some momentum going. Let's. Ooh, 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 ooh. Put some positive energy out into the universe. The universe might reward you. Honestly, I don't think that's. I don't think that's how it works at all. I think it's probably. I think the universe doesn't really care about. Anyone in particular, to be honest with you. And if you think the universe does care about you, I think... I don't know, I don't want to burst your bubble or anything. You can think whatever you want. I mean, I'm... Whatever I'm saying is also just my opinion at the end of the day. And it's very much possible that I'm wrong. But I don't know, it seems a little bit like... Kind of seems weird to me to think that like something as like vast and huge as the universe would care about me, you know? And like any time people like think about that, it seems like they're sort of just like attributing the self-importance to them that may not actually exist in the universe, but rather just... Because maybe they do want to feel important in the universe and there's nothing wrong with that, man. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. As to me, I can't get my head around that concept, so... 
That's just what I think. I mean, if you think about it, it's just like... Ah. In the grand scheme of the universe, what we as people do really doesn't matter. The universe is going to keep going on without us. It's going to... It's one of the things as human we have attributed the self-important to us because we thought we were like the most dominant species or the most impressive species or whatever. But... I mean, we don't know that even. We... There's so much of the universe we can't even begin to understand. In fact, there's so much on this planet that we can't even begin to understand. And then, like, you wanna... And then our planet is sort of, like, insignificant in the scheme of the whole universe, so then how much is there in the whole universe that we don't even understand? And it's like, things on, like, a huge scale we don't understand, things on a small scale we don't understand, things on... Things, like, in difficult positions we don't really understand, like, we don't really... Like, we know more about the surface of the moon than, like, the bottom of the ocean. That was the stat, like, a while ago. I don't know if that's still true, but... At least it was true for a while, and that's, like, a crazy thought, dude. I mean, the bottom of the ocean's here on our planet, but... For some reason, it's even harder to get there than... I mean, I know why, because of insane pressure and all of that, but... You know, it's just... Just, we gotta... We gotta be able to understand that our under standing of the universe and everything isn't complete. Gotta get that around our heads. And I think that was the last level on this trial. I don't know. Remember, really? No, there's one more. Ah, we'll do it. We'll do it until the video cuts us out. It's supposed to be Gnormal Gnorman. Gnormal Gnorman. Yeah, dude, I saw like a thing as well that was like... I don't think it was just like a Twitter post or whatever, but it was like kind of interesting because it's just like if you don't believe aliens could exist That's basically like taking a taking like a teaspoon of water out of the ocean And because we haven't you don't see any sharks in that teaspoon of water You believe that sharks don't exist And that's basically the scale of things we're talking about if you don't think that aliens could exist not saying they do, but they definitely could, man. Extraterrestrial life is definitely a possibility. If it could happen on our planet, why can't it happen anywhere else in the universe? Considering the vastness of it. I mean, it's crazy. These things are so vast, our brains can't even really comprehend how big they are, you know? Our brains can't even properly comprehend, like, big things on our planet, so how the hell is it supposed to comprehend big things in the universe, on like a universal scale? I don't really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, the point is like we haven't even explored that much of this infinite vastness of universe that we exist in. So how could you deny something exists Purely because we haven't seen it yet, but we haven't seen it yet because we ha also haven't done that much exploring yet. And you think, yeah, we've done so much exploring, but if you think we've done a lot of exploring, that's... maybe you should look into the actual like vastness of the universe and everything. I don't understand how this completed the mission because that other orange peg was very far away. <laughs> Anyway, that's gonna do it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and uh, maybe give me a subscription if you want to see more in the future. But anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time. Oh, I like that costume. But, adios.